Hello, how are you? The topic of this video is Demystify Boot Process Part 1 Grab two internals with three files and four stages. The boot process of Linux using Grab2 is like a mysterious animal. Grab2 or Grand Unified Bootloader version 2 does something magical during computer booting, then yields the platform to Linux kernel, not being seen again in most normal PC use cases. In this series of videos, I will share how I understand Grab2 internals using three files and four stages system. When I say Grub, I actually mean Grub2. It's almost a complete operating system by itself. There's no way for me to cover everything in several short videos. Covering everything is also not my intention. I want to focus on the key points that are interesting to me and have helped me understand how boot process works with reference to Grub2 source code. Hopefully, they will also make you feel interested and help you gain more insight on boot process in general. After you press the power button on 8086 computer, BIOS or basic input-output system is loaded at CS IP address hex FFFF0 in 16-bit real memory address mode. Following post or power on self-test interrupt routine hex 19 is called to load grub2 file boot image and save it to memory hex 7c00 which is MBR or master boot record entry address. Now we come to stage 1 of grub with boot image. It contains three parts, boot strap code, partition table for partitions, Note that only one partition can be marked as active, and boot signature or magic number hex 55AA. Without this 2 bytes magic number, BIOS won't recognize the disk as bootable. Bootstrap code will look up the active partition from the partition table and load the next stage disk boot image to real memory address hex 8000 in the active partition, which starts grub stage 2. Disk boot image is not a separated file, but the first section of core image. It contains 512 bytes of bootstrap code, with the sole purpose of loading the rest of core image into memory from hex 8200. When the whole core image is in memory, grub boot process enters into stage 3. Core image is built dynamically from the kernel image, including disk boot image mentioned in stage 2, and an arbitrary list of modules by the Grub Make Image program with its own modules. Core image enters 32-bit protected mode from real memory mode and compresses itself, can access boot Grub directory and load facilities from the file system, including menu handling, the ability to load target operating systems, and so on. The module design keeps the core image small. Since the areas of disk it must be loaded or installed are often as small as 32 kilobytes. The last thing core image will do is to call the first function written in C, grab main. I would like to single out one of its very important tasks, loading normal module with file name normal.mod. The running of grub main function marks the starting of grub kernel, which means the boot process reaches grub stage 4. If stage 1 to 3 are running programs written in assembly language, stage 4 are running programs meaning written in C language. After normal module is loaded, it will start loading and parsing grub configuration file, which is boot grub grub dot config. Then execute the statements, load more modules, provide menu to user to choose operating system, locate and load Linux kernel, 
handoff control to kernel. After these four stages of grub2 boot process, Linux kernel takes over and starts running. This is an overview of grub2 boot process with three files four stages system. In the following videos, I will provide a little bit more coding details with reference to grub source code for each stage. Thanks for watching.